Hey, what's going on, everybody? I do apologize about not having any, you know, more recent videos, especially when it comes to things like the Hasbro tournament, which has been basically put on hiatus long term, just until I can finally get this room situated and get it back to the way it was before, or at least uh, to the new setup. As you can see, I'm back on camera, so with the camera phone, you already know there aren't going to be any super long videos or anything like that. But I do want to be able to put out something for you guys, even if it's just like a five minute video, just to give you something to watch and enjoy. So right now, I just want to show you kind of what the corner of the room looks like. Uh, the custom displays are set up. Now, they haven't come back. Uh, it's kind of messed up because when uh, when I had the flood, you know, Tom Drexel, they came in, they did the plumbing, they had to tear up the background, rip up the concrete, build like this, you know, eight foot hole in the ground and everything came in with the excavators and everything charged me like eight thousand dollars for it and never once worried about going through homeowner's insurance i just paid that out of pocket no big deal whatever you know it was a home expense it was necessary um but with serve pro uh in order for them to come in uh lift up the carpet pull out the padding underneath that was soaking wet throw that away, clear out the storage room, add new padding to clean the carpet, clean the storage room, uh, lay out those humidifiers to, to dry out the carpet and dry out the storage room. You're only looking at a little over $1,000 and they're making such a big fuss about it and having to go through homeowner's insurance. I'm like, dude, just send me the invoice. Let me pay it. Let this get, let's get this taken care of. It's been almost two months now. So it's been becoming really frustrating. So the display that I have right now, obviously with the way that the boards are sitting on the floor, they're not going to stay like that, at least for the short term. They're not, not until the padding of the carpet is laid back down. But you know what? I want everything to be situated just to, so I have an idea of what this is going to look like. And uh, that's what this video is. It's just basically taking a look at some of my WWF LJN custom figures. And, uh, guys, I have a problem. <laughs> I haven't really seen any other collector out there with, you know, custom collections like this. And it's, it's impressive, but it's also kind of sad. Uh, this is what we're looking at so far, guys. And I'm going to try and keep my thumb off of the camera area. Uh, I do got this in portrait view, so hopefully this does come out pretty well. But uh, I got to admit, uh, she is a beauty. And you remember how I used to have my room set up over there where all the figures were lined up like that, which I really enjoyed. But this right here, this is what I'm talking about. This is how I always wanted my figures displayed. So just kind of recap, you know, a video that I did, you know, a few weeks back. Up here, we are looking at all of the wrestling rider figures so i do try to keep them separated by customizer or by the person i purchased the figures from and again got about three shelves worth well not the the sergeant slaughter is actually from ram treasures but so up to dusty roads and then fourth shelf I do have several more figures coming from Wrestling Rider that I've commissioned, so uh, those will end up going as much as I could fill, at least. Probably enough for another two or three figures in that area. So those are all Wrestling Rider figures. And then I started doing the Ram Treasures. I finally got some stands. I figured, you know what, it's about time. And I threw Ram Treasures down there. Down here, we've got John Ruggiero, all of his figures, up until the Steiner Brothers. Uh, Stinger GQ, I think I got that Haku from him. And I think a majority of these figures came from Stinger GQ. With a few figures here and there mixed in that came from other sellers. I just don't remember. I tried having Hogan, Macho Man, and War all together. That way I had all my three favorite wrestlers together. But the Hogan figures didn't fit. So, And then I just put some of my duplicate wrestlers on the very bottom shelf. And since I got a bigger shelf on the bottom, you know, I got some of the bigger figures at the bottom here. Uh, we're going to start right back at the top. 
And again, from Mark Hackenberg, I have all of his customs. Absolutely remarkable figures, as you already know. Huge fan of his work as well. Then the Hogan and Santa Claus figure that my wife did. She did a fantastic job. I'm like super impressed. <laughs> and um, as you know, Robert Jackson, LJN Customs. And one of my favorite customizers, Kenny Lester. You know, Justin over at the Raider Nation. And then over here, I believe these two figures came from a, a seller named Sir Maxalot. Those are the only two figures I ever bought from him. So, and then we've got back to Ram Treasures with the Galoob two ups, and a couple from Print Fury that I bought from Kevin directly. And then we got the Ram Treasures tag team figures, and then from there. Some of the loose ones. I actually got but, uh, the butcher on a stand, but <laughs> as you so, see the way he's kind of leaning, because he's so big, you can't really wrap around his stomach. I tried wrapping around his head, but again, he's so tall that the stand doesn't really work for that figure. But it works. I mean, it's okay. Not a big deal. So there's not many figures here. I mean, I love all my customs, but I'm thinking there are a few that I might be interested in getting rid of. So that honky tonk man, because of the paint job, uh, the, the black suit, I'm not a huge fan of it. it it's, it's a great figure. I love it. Don't get me wrong. But because of the amount of figures uh, of honky tonk man I do have, and I have another one coming from wrestling writer, I might be willing to sell that one as well as that version of ax. I don't know. Maybe the Fuji as well. We'll see. So once again, the, for right now, the LJN custom wall is complete. I Again, I do have several, several more figures coming from Wrestling Riders. So uh, I do have plenty of space left to fill in. And and I'm, I'm trying to think if I want to move all these figures down because I want to keep all Wrestling Riders together or if I just want to fill in the blanks. But I'll probably just fill in the empty spots because I really don't want to move all that. That took some time. <laughs> In the next video, guys, we are going to be taking a look at some of the carded LJNs I've been buying up. Uh, I've kind of gone crazy. Yeah, uh, I've got a problem. <laughs> uh, that's probably going to be the next video. Again, it's going to be a very short video, less than 10 minutes. So it's just something I have to post so that you guys have something to watch and uh, keep me uh, fresh in your guys' mind. Uh, well, thank you for watching, everyone. And, uh, uh, Hope to hear from you in the comments, and I will talk to you all soon. Goodbye for now.